गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज आइसोलेशन एंड प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म वी आर प्रेजेंटली स्टडिंग बैक्टीरिया सो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द बैक्टीरिया बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद दिस आइसोलेशन एंड प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म I will tell you that we have already discussed about the morphology of bacteria, ultra structure of bacteria. Then we have discussed about the nutrient requirements. What are the different nutrient requirements which is required by the bacteria? And then we have discussed about the what are the different physical parameters or physical factors which affecting the growth. And then we have discussed in the last class that is the growth curves, that is growth profile of a bacteria. Now with today point today we will discuss about the isolation and preservation of microorganism this is simple techniques which is shown by bacterial arrangement that is known as isolation preservation of microorganism there are certain isolated colonies which you have seen through the green dotted here these are isolated colonies what is the objective of today's class the objective of today's class is that we will study isolating the pure culture of bacteria by different methods like steam plate method pour plate method spread plate method and serial dilution method in the steam plate method there are two method that is known as continuous steam plate method and discontinuous steam plate method later we will discuss each individual method in a brief now isolation of microbial pure culture you know very well that the study of specific role played by specific microorganisms is in the environment and it is imperative to isolate them in a pure culture what is a pure culture if we say about pure culture pure culture contains only one kind of microorganism okay and involved not only in the isolation of the individual microorganism from a mixed populations but also the maintenance of such individual and their progenies in the artificial media so microorganisms are basically found in nature where it is found it is found in air soil water that is called as a mixed populations so that's why i told you what is a pure culture pure culture is the culture that contains only one kind of microorganisms and involved not only in the isolation of individual microorganisms but in the mixed population mixed population means air soil and water even the diseased part of the plant or animal they contain a great number of microorganisms which differed markedly from microorganisms of the other environment it is very much clear that whenever you are getting any type of injury when when any any type of injury will takes place in plants or animals there is a great number of microorganisms which differ markedly from the environment so to study the specific role played by a specific microorganism in its environment one must isolate the same in the pure culture the two major steps of obtaining pure cultures are first the culture has to be diluted until the various individual microorganisms are separated for a part on agar surface and then after incubation they form visible colonies isolated from the colonies of other microorganisms so there are two major steps which is obtaining a pure culture are as follows what is a pure culture already i told you that contain only one kind of microorganism first the culture has to be diluted until the various individual microorganisms are separated far apart on the agar surface that after incubations they form a visible colonies that is that is visible colony means you are able to see these colonies which is isolated from the other microorganism what is pure culture and what is mixed culture here it is very much clear see here this is completely this d diagram and c diagram here in the d diagram you will see that it is originated from only one bacterial strain only one bacterial bacterial strain means that all colonies are look like the same jo bhi colonies do the those colonies which you are able to see they all are having the same strains okay mixed means they are originated from the many bacterial strains 
and they have different shape as well as different size there are see some are round in shape some are flat some are rectangular in shape so these are the colonies which is having different shapes and size what are the different points which is to be taken in the considerations when we are going for the inoculations inoculation means hota hai inoculation means when you want to take one loop and you deep into that particular uh, test organism and you keep into the petri plate that is known as inoculation the inoculation loop has to be sterilized before every inoculation of colonies from the agar plate means whenever you are using this inoculation you will always do the sterilization of that particular loop every time the loop is sterilized by heat it must be cooled before inoculating the next colonies every time whenever you are using this loop it should be sterilized by heat it must be cool before inoculating the next colonies there are several methods of isolating the pure culture of bacteria which we will discuss in this class this is known as peak plate method poor plate method spread plate method and serial dilution why it is important so pure cultures are important in microbiology for the following reasons what are the different reasons why pure cultures are important first once purified the isolated species can then be cultivated within the knowledge that only the desired microsome microsome is being grown i am giving you one example see if i want aloe vera if i will cultivate that aloe vera we will get aloe vera pure if we are taking aloe vera with certain other medicaments like turmeric ginger in between this or some plant material which is look like aloe vera we will get confused and we will get different different products in between them so why this was important a pure culture when you are purifying you are taking the isolated species it can be cultivated within the knowledge and that only desired the microorganism that is being grown second a pure culture can be correctly identified for accurate staining studying and testing and diagnosing in the clinical environment see if you know very well we we people are trying from so many years about different vaccines defined by uh, for against virus but we are not able to give the uh, solution why because if you can correctly identify and you go for the accurate study and then you will go for particular testing and diagnosis there is needed of pure culture only okay then testing experimenting with pure culture ensures that the same results can be achieved regardless regardless of how many times the test is repeated means if your culture is pure the result should be come as similar as that of old one so it should be similar results and pure culture spontaneously mutations rate is very low second pure culture clone is 99.999% identical so this is about why the pure culture is important in why pure uh, that pure important in the pure culture what is the importance of the pure culture in the microbiology then what are the different common methods for isolating of pure culture that we will discuss here streak plate method poor plate method spread plate method micro manipulator method and roll tube method first method is known as streak plate method in this streak plate method we will discuss two methods again that is known as continuous another is known as discontinuous so in streak plate method there are poor, first is streak plate method second is known as poor plate method in poor plate method there are again two loop dilution technique and serial dilution then spread plate micro manipulator method and roll tube method 